Hello, so in this video we will talk about an application of uh, tree traversals okay and specifically we will talk about uh, the notations which are called pre-order notation and post-order notation also known as Polish notation or reverse Polish notations okay so the steps uh, go like this so first of all what we have to do is we have to find the representation of an expression by a rooted tree so what are the rules the rules are that all variables correspond to leaves and all operations correspond to internal vertices an operation operates on its left and right subtree in this order so left first and right second okay so in other words if we have 2 plus 4 then I have plus here this is my internal vertex and 2 here and 4 here so it's 2 plus 4 not 4 plus 2 although the answer is the same but this is read as 2 plus 4 okay then the Polish notation or the preface notation is constructed by traversing this tree which we created here in a pre-order way okay so if we do the pre-order traversal of the tree representation we get the prefix notation and once we have the prefix notation how do we read it we read it from right to left once an operator is encountered the two operands operands immediately to its rights are operated upon so when we say two operands it assumes that we are talking about binary operators so what if it is a unary operator so if it is a unary operator then we replace this two by one so if it is a if it is an operator which takes three operands then we replace this two by three or whatever number of operands an operator takes we replace that here okay and you know by just natural uh, extension the post fix post fix notation is constructed by traversing the rooted tree in a post order traversal okay and it is reread from left to right and once an operator is encountered again this two story is the same for binary operators only okay operators immediately to its left are operated upon okay so we reverse it but you will see that once we have the post fixed notation it is not the reverse of prefix notation although the steps looks like you know once we have the post fix notation we can just flip it from right to left and we will get the prefix notation but it will not be the case as you will see shortly okay now let's go ahead, go directly to an example here okay so now what we want to do is we have this expression this is a logical expression we have not p and q double implication or if and only if not p then bracket close bracket close and then or and then this is not q so this is what we have to do so first of all what we are going to do i'm going to do not p here okay so i will say not sign and p here okay and then i have to do i have to do if and only if with or double implication with q so i will say this is my operator this is my q and this is my uh, not p note that this q is on the left so it's q should be on the left okay and then i have to do and with not p so i need another not p here then i will say and and then not p and then this whole story on the right uh, this is q this is okay then i have to do a not q and i have to or it with not q so i will say or first and this whole story on the left so let me just copy it more space okay. then this is this is like this and then here I will say not Q correct so this is my tree representation of this expression okay so note that this is an or and this is an and and this is not P and so on now let's do a prefix notation which means pre-order traversal 
okay so what are the steps so we have for pre-order traversal what do we do we say root left right correct so root is what our root is or then tree rooted at and and then tree rooted at this knot okay then root for this tree rooted at and we say root tree rooted at not and tree rooted at implication sign double implication sign and for this tree at not we'll just say not tree rooted at q correct this q okay. now we have just this uh, or and the tree rooted at this not is not and tree rooted at p and tree rooted at this implication sign is implication sign a double implication sign then tree rooted at q and then tree rooted at that not and then we have this not and then tree rooted at this q is just q because it's the root itself okay now then what now we have this guy this guy this guy tree rooted at p is just p because it's the root itself then we have this guy tree rooted at q is just q because it's the root itself okay then tree rooted at this knot is this knot and then tree rooted at p and then we have knot and q and this tree rooted at p is just p so i'll just copy everything so once i copy everything i have this representation as a prefix notation or polish notation of this tree now let's go to the postfix notation which is which uses the post order traversal correct okay so now we have for for post order traversal what do we do we have left subtree right subtree then the root so we'll say tree rooted at and tree rooted at not and then our or so tree rooted at and is left subtree is tree rooted at not and tree rooted at the implication double implication sign and then we have and this guy is tree rooted at q there's no right such tree so then after that this guy and then in the end we have this also then this tree rooted at this guy is tree rooted at p there's no right after this this guy. tree rooted at implication sign is tree rooted at q tree rooted at not and then this implication sign then we have this this tree rooted at q is just q because it's the root itself then we have this guy and this guy now we have tree rooted at p is just p itself because it's its own root tree, tree rooted at q is also q so tree rooted at not is tree rooted at p and then this not sign then we have no more trees left on this side now tree of uh, tree rooted at p is just p so p okay so this is my post fix notation for this tree now let's read it now imagine that you have just this post fix notation now just read it and see whether we get our starting expression or not this expression or not so as a reminder we read from left to right and if an operation operator is a binary operator we immediately operate it on its left immediately left two operands if it is a unary operator we immediately operate it on the, its immediate left operand okay so then what does this mean this we, we start from left to right remember okay so this means not p okay then q p this means not p okay this also means not p now this q not p implied this means what this means q implies double implication i mean not p this means this is and so this is and of this operator and this operator so this means I'll, I'll, I'll use this space here so 
uh, and this is an and here so not p and q implies double implication not p so we are done till here this this point then we have q and not so this means then we have another q and which not q and then we have an or sign so this means we have this operator uh, this operand and this operand and we have to or them so our end is or then we can put a bracket if you want not q so you can see that you can appreciate that this is exactly the same uh, same expression where we started from okay so you can read from left to right and follow these rules for post order uh, notation and similarly you can uh, you know uh, a viewer can uh, verify that our prefix notation is also giving the same expression now just for the sake of completion let's evaluate an expression in our post order and uh, post fix and prefix notation now let's say we have this guy we have for example 9 3 divide sign 5 plus 7 2 minus and uh, times okay now we have to do post fix okay for post fix left to right so this means this be become 9 divided by 3 which is 3 now 3 5 plus so this becomes 3 5 plus is 8 now this 7 is there but I have to do the 7 2 minus this is 5 and this is times here so 8 times 5 is 40 here okay so it's that simple you just move from left to right and uh, whenever you see an operator you operate on it okay now let's do another for prefix for example just for the sake of completion we have this guy plus minus uh, this is uh, exponentiation sign and 3 2 and then another exponentiation sign and then 2 3 this divide sign 6 minus 4 and 2 okay. now for this one we start from right to left so this is 4 minus 2 which is which is 2 then we have a divide sign so this is 6 divided by 2 sorry, till here, which is 3 then we have exponentiation sign so then we can put it here uh, this is 2, 2 to the 3 which is 8 then we have again 3 to the 2 which is 9 now we have a minus sign so minus sign operates here 9 minus 8 is 1 and we have a plus sign here so 1 plus 3 is 4 okay so again just following the rules carefully will lead you to the correct answer okay so just for the sake of completion not only there's a prefix notation and postfix notation there's also a infix notation which naturally follows when you traverse the rooted tree representation in an in order traversal okay but the problem is that in that case you have to put brackets whenever you encounter an operation you have to put parenthesis over there but in the postfix and prefix notation no parenthesis are needed because the order itself is enough to solve any ambiguity okay so this is this is it uh, for a, a brief introduction of these notations and the hope it was easy to understand and thanks for watching hope you like the video